Thanks, Babu Ashaka and Poddy Toynbee. Thanks, both. Five minutes to nine. The lobster is a role model that we should emulate if we are to have a better life. That's the view of Jordan Peterson. He's a professor of psychology from the University of Toronto. He is also a massive YouTube star who has a huge following, especially among men. And he's written a self-help book, 12 Rules for Life. He's in the studio. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, explain the lobster. That's part of rule one, isn't well, it? Well, you're actually supposed to emulate the victorious lobster, not the defeated lobster. The victorious lobster. Yeah. There is yeah. such a thing. There is such a thing. So this is rule one, stand up straight with your shoulders mm-hmm. back, which mm-hmm. is part of your 12 rules for living. Mm-hmm. But explain the lobster relevance. Well, lobsters, like human beings, live in hierarchies of, you could call them power or authority. And the um, neural structures that govern the your understanding of your position in in an authority hierarchy are there back all the way to lobsters 350 million years ago. And so it's necessary for people to know how to conduct themselves in hierarchies because the the way that we conduct ourselves in hierarchies actually regulates our emotions. And so the chapter is an injunction to people to extend themselves physically and to stand up properly and to face the world forthrightly because doing all of that increases the probability that you'll be successful in the most important sense of success and I wrote the chapter in an attempt to illustrate just exactly how deep and important such things can be so it's a tongue-in-cheek approach obviously because we differ a (sighs) bit from lobsters but indeed I mean I mean that that particular rule and some of the others. They, 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 I said that you've got quite a large following am, along men, among men. They are the majority of your followers on YouTube. Um, at, it's quite a masculine approach, you would argue. I would say masculine, although it's not necessarily limited in its effectiveness to men, right? Because masculine and feminine, male and female, can be dissociated with, to some degree with, 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 with an advantage, a, a psychological advantage for clarity. But yeah, well, it's, it, it's an injunction for people to stand forward properly. And, and forthrightly and courageously as individuals, which is a theme that runs through the book. And why do you think that y- y- your words are resonating so much with men, which is, which is a section of society, let's face it, where we know in, in many countries there are problems, huge rates of suicide in, in, in mm-hmm. this country. Oh, yes, and, 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 and dropout as well, especially in institutions like the universities, which where men are bailing out like, like mad. Well, I think partly with men... Men can delay maturation. They need a reason to mature. And, and the proper reason isn't compulsion, it's ambition. And I mean ambition in the best sense. And so a large part of what I've been talking about, what I've written about in 12 Rules for Life, is uh, the outline of, a, a, of a, what, a, a view of the world that would enable you to understand how you can take part in existence in a noble and, and, and truthful manner. I talk a lot to young men about responsibility and truth and try to outline the notion that the meaning in, that's to be found in life, the meaning that sustains you through good times and bad, is much more associated with responsibility than it is with, say, rights or freedoms or impulsive pleasures. And I mean, there's something to be said for those things. But and your and your critics latch on some of that and say, um, and you have a lot of critics, especially in your native Canada, where where they say you're a misogynist. You're hmm. you're propelling this misogynistic view of the world hmm. um, that uh, and 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 pushing yeah. men ahead of yeah. Well, ahead that, of women. Yeah, well, first, I don't have a lot of critics. I just have uh, a very small minority of extraordinarily noisy critics. So, but I don't, the idea that this is misogynistic is absolutely foolish. I mean, the danger, the danger to women is posed by weak men, not by strong men. And it's really important to get that right. And I don't mean strong physically, and I don't mean strong cruelly, although I do mean that to some degree. It's an, it's an absurd proposition. And in five seconds, for someone looking for self-help from yourself, what's your one message? Tell the truth. Say what you, say what you believe. Be and yourself. straighten the world out that way. Great. Jordan Peterson, thank you very much indeed for joining us. Thanks for the invitation. And that's it from us. Our editors were...